everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of the second reproduction. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start, and we are gonna go to the grocery store. There's something I need to get. Just wait here. I'll be, I'll be quick. Oh, okay. He's taking a while. I hope everything's all right. Have you made your decision, your majesty? What's he doing? No, not yet. This is really difficult. They all look perfect. Then why not get her four different ones? No, Chris wouldn't like that. She'll just give them back to me if I give her too many. Hmm, so I need to choose a jewel that isn't too expensive, yet still beautiful enough to suit her. Ah, I've never had this much trouble in the past when buying presents for women. I'm sure all the women in the world love expensive jewelry. Well, this woman doesn't. And that's why I'm having so much trouble deciding, to be honest. I want to give her the most expensive necklace in the country, but... Oh, then what about this? This will go nicely with Lady Christina's eyes. Her eyes are far more beautiful than that. Ah, <sighs> really? Even if I gather all the jewels in the world of light, they'd never be a match for her radiance. Uh, I suppose... I guess I have no choice. I'll buy them all. So you want to buy them all anyway? <laughs> oh, Gertis. Um, let's hit up the toy store. <laughs> Welcome. Um, let's buy something. Let's- Oh, look at the little Lisa doll! They are so cute! I'm gonna buy this one, though. I'm gonna buy another me. Then we'll have two. Uh, confirm. How much money do I have left? How much money are you? A doll that looks like Gardas. I'm totally gonna buy it, because it's so cute! These handcuffs? Oh, I can't get them. Oh, wait. Cancel. Hold on. Handcuffs to cuff to the <laughs> oh, whip. oh my god, this place is kinky. Handcuffs, a whip, and rope. That's hot. Okay, let's buy the Gardas doll, because it's adorable. Next time I'll buy the Lizette doll, because I can't. <laughs> so, you're into this kind of thing too, eh? Is there anything else you'd like? Uh, no. That's okay. Thank you, though. Come again! Um, and now we're gonna go to the pub. Oh, that's right. I wonder if I have something Gardas might like. I do! I'm gonna give him the- I'm gonna give him the Christina doll. And I'm gonna keep the Gardas doll all for myself. Wait, why does she have bunny ears? I don't know. <laughs> well, they all have ears. So he's like a kitty, and he's like a puppy, and then she's bunny. Oh, they're all so cute little- they're so cute! Okay, I'm gonna- yes. Do you want to hand over the Christine? I do. This is... Oh, so you don't like dolls after all. I figured it'd ease your heartache when I'm not around or something. This is beautiful. I should convey my thanks to the real thing tonight. I, I don't need any thanks. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Anyway, do you like it? Of course. This is the best gift in the world. I wouldn't give it away even for a mountain of jewels. <laughs> you shouldn't exaggerate. Anyway. Hey, Gardas. Be honest now. What do you think of me? Hmm? Well, that's a sudden question. Well, you treated me like a kid first, didn't you? Then, when did you start seeing me as a woman? From the very beginning. Wait. The day I came for your head? That's right. To put it in a human's words, it was love at first sight. Y you fell in love with the woman who came to kill you? Your eyes held no fear when you looked at me. In all my life, of over five centuries, I've never met a woman who dared stand against me. I'd love to meet the man who wouldn't fall in love after gazing into such strong, murderous eyes full of fighting spirit. <laughs> If that was true, then there'd be a whole queue of men after you, Gardas. 
Don't say something so gross. You're beautiful. And there's countless men falling head over heels for you. You just aren't aware of it. I think you need to see an optician. Ha. Ah, your proud attitude is one of your charms. But other men can use it to take advantage, you know? Such a troublesome little thing you are. Don't worry. You're the only one who thinks that way. Hmm? But back then, you threw a deadly spell on me. The woman you fell in love with there and then? Why? You would have kept coming at me if I hadn't. And after seeing your crest, I knew you'd survive it anyway. Why? Because that's your ancestors. I used intuition. At least make an effort if you're going to lie. You think I'm lying? A demon lord's intuition is a powerful thing, you know? I can even tell I'm not just attracted to your looks, but to what you have inside as well. D don't make fun of me. Ah, what do you think you're doing? Don't feel me up in public. I can't help it. My hands just move by themselves. Really? <laughs> Phew. That was more than enough fencing practice for tonight. Prepare yourself, Gurnus! Huh? What was that? Wait, didn't something like this happen last time? Oh, let's leave that. I try saying that again. I only asked if your loyalty is weakened, that's all. Ugh, that pisses me off too. But I was referring to what you said earlier. Earlier? Don't play dumb with me. After everything we've been through, why are you asking us to try and kill you again? You know the princess and I don't care about that anymore. Gardas. Didn't you hear the word if? I said if the time comes. Don't hesitate because of me or Chris. Your job as her knight is to help Christina no matter what, isn't it? Come on, don't glare at me like that. I'm just making sure you understand. But why? There'll never be a time when killing you will be the right thing to do. Will there? The bird. No, he who carries a kingdom on his shoulders also carries more knowledge than his subjects. I was just making sure. Forgive me. You... Like I'll ever let that happen. A whole day goes by so quickly. I should go to bed. So did anything happen this morning? Nothing significant in Death Ride, but... But? Did something happen elsewhere? Yes. Something troubling happened in Almanan. Almanan? Apparently a small wildfire started near its border and... P princess Lisette? Are you okay? You look pale. It... It's about the fire. I heard from a few people in the capital that it might have been started on purpose, and... And most of the villages along the border were leveled. What? Along the border? Doesn't that mean... That's where my village is. I I'm sorry, Princess, but could you please give me permission to go there? I know it might be too late, but... Lisette... I know this is scary, but you need to calm down. If you go by yourself, you'd just be diving into the fire. It's affected a wide area, remember? Yes, but... So let's talk to Gardas about it first. If we're going to leave the capital, then it'll be easier if we get his permission first. Princess? Okay, that's our plan for today. Kyria, we're leaving. Okay, take care on your way out. Will do. Come on, Lisette. Yes, Princess. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.